Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, first things first, man, I want to shout out everybody that showed love to the previous video. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then go watch it. I know that was about a week ago, maybe going on two weeks ago. I wanted to let that video sizzle a little bit, kind of sit out there and try to accumulate as many views on it as I possibly could. The point of that video was to kind of uh, open things up to maybe some other videos that we can make. Like I said, I didn't really speak on too many certain situations in that video, but I would love once or twice a week to sit down and kind of have some story time type videos going back into my past as I was growing up as an adolescent and into my young adult years when I wasn't making the right decisions, doing those kind of things and the things that it led me to, the bad experiences, the good experiences, that was the point of that video and it seemed like uh, the people who watched it were on it and liked the idea of me doing that. So if you guys left love or just showed any kind of love to that video, thank you guys very much man today uh, we are gonna get into something a little bit different we're gonna go back to the clothing side of things like I said I'm gonna continue to mix it up I'm gonna try to give you guys that real life you know going back in my life where I was at with the things I was doing you know the statistics that were against me and where I've gotten to now and I've told you guys I'm not gonna stop with the clothing content I'm just gonna mix it in between so here we are today with a little clothing video now if you guys have been around for some time this might be a repeat video for you guys today I'm gonna show you guys how to properly wash your garments at home in your washer and dryer and make them look pristine clean and ready to go so the worst thing that gets to me the thing that just bubbles in my heart and is like nails on a chalkboard is when I pull up to the spot pull up to the block wherever I'm at and I see homeboy with a shirt that dropped last week or two weeks ago and it's faded as hell it's got cracking all over it I'm just like oh my gosh man's does not know how to do his laundry so like I said if you guys have been around you guys have seen this tutorial before but I'm gonna try to switch it up update it a little bit so if you guys have seen it make sure you guys stick around we recently broke the six 60,000 subscriber mark much love to all you guys I was in the 50,000s for way too long man so hopefully uh, we can push through the 60s and reach to the 70s so if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys pay attention man I'm gonna show you guys how to wash your clothes at home in the best way possible straight up they are gonna look just as good and perfect as when you first bought them if you wash your clothes with this technique it is gonna prolong the life of your clothes tenfold and uh, there's no better way to wash your clothes than the way I do it and I learned this from of course the one the only the boss Alexandra Elizabeth so shout out to Duva she was the one that taught me how to do this a lot of times we just can a lot of times we let our moms do our laundry you youngins out there or as you guys get older you guys just do your laundry the way that your mom taught you how to do it when I was younger my mom was the kind of mom that bought stuff and before I could wash it it had to be washed and dried uh, which is not the best way to do your laundry in my personal opinion uh, so yeah that's today's video I'm gonna show you guys what items we're washing how we're gonna wash them how we dry them and how we make them look pristine clean and ready to go so before we get into the washing process, I know a lot of you guys, the first thing that's going to be said is dry cleaning. How do you feel about dry cleaning? Of course, dry cleaning is one of the best methods to wash your clothes if you have the right dry cleaner. I've been to certain dry cleaners where they have totally trashed my clothes. You have to find the right dry cleaner, somebody that you trust with your clothes. Luckily, I have found a lady up the street from my house that I trust with my garments. And uh, when I have the extra bread or the items that require me to go to the dry cleaner that's what I would prefer to do but let's face it the dry cleaner costs money and uh, sometimes we all don't have bread just to fork out at the dry cleaner for example I took some of me and Alexandra's laundry from about two weeks of laundry I took it to the dry cleaner and it was $94 dude for about two weeks of laundry that's $200 a month just to wash your clothes at the dry cleaner let's face it a lot of us don't have the extra bread like that and you can wash your clothes at home and have them turn 
turn out just as good, if not better, than the dry cleaners. So let me show you some items that I just recently got dry cleaned and why I got those items dry cleaned. And then I will show you guys the items that we're gonna wash at home and we're gonna get this video cracking. Make sure you guys drop a like down below if you guys haven't already. For some reason you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on your notifications, all of that jazz. Leave a comment at the end of the video and let me know how great this technique works. And if you guys are an OG and have been around and seen me do this method before and have used it and still use it to this day, make sure you lay it in the comments down below and let the homies know that are watching that this works. Yeah, man, this is how you wash your laundry at home and uh, make it look clean, pristine, and ready to rock. It preserves the life. Love doing these kind of videos. Let's get it cracking. Alrighty guys, so here's a couple things that I recently got dry clean. I'm gonna take them out of the plastic so you guys can see, but you guys can see it's got the little white paper at the top and it's got the little dry cleaning thing right there. They come on these little white hangers. So you guys know this all came from the dry cleaner. All right guys, behind me I have taken off all the plastic and the hangers. I'm gonna show you guys what I got dry cleaned and why I chose to have these garments dry cleaned. So let's move to the rack here at the back. You guys can see my FTP all over hoodie. Uh, I've owned this hoodie for many, many years, and this was the first time that I have ever had it washed, so I took it to the dry cleaner. I have a couple Supreme Tees right here, a 666 Tee, an Independent Tee, and then we got Duva's little Cherub Tee right here. Those are Supreme Tees that I did get dry cleaned, but I do have Supreme Tees that are gonna get washed at home and come out and look just as nice. Now, you guys can tell the rest of these garments are pretty much white. Now, when it comes to white garments, I personally personally choose to take them to the dry cleaner just because white is extremely tough to wear and it's extremely tough to wash. Now while you're washing things, colors get left behind in the wash and uh, when it comes to white, I would rather just take those garments to the dry cleaner and uh, make sure that they come out spotless. But you can wash white garments at home. You just gotta wash white with white. We will get into the color situation and you know how to separate colors and all that kind of stuff in just a minute here. Uh, but but I got a bunch of white tees dry cleaned. I got a little uh, button up dry cleaned right here. Nothing hanging behind me is not in the pile of clothes that we are gonna wash at home right now. Uh, so yeah, now let's go over what we're gonna wash at home and uh, you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. All right guys, before we get into the items, I'm gonna show you guys the entire load that we are about to run. But before we do that, I wanna get into a couple things. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have a top loader washer, if you have a front loader washer, it doesn't matter if you use powder, if you use liquid, if you use Tide Pods, if you use fabric softener, none of that stuff matters. The main thing that matters is the temperature at which you wash your clothes and the temperature and how long you dry your clothes. Now, usually you wanna keep darks with darks, lights with lights, and whites with whites. In this pile, you guys are gonna see it's kind of a mix of all three because most of these clothes have been washed before. You don't wanna wash something red that's never been washed before with some light clothes because that red is gonna bleed right onto your other clothes. So just be cautious and know what's been washed before and what hasn't. And uh, the best thing is these color catchers I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. So this is not restricted. Any washer and dryer that you have, even if you live in an apartment complex and you just have the machines that the apartment complex offers you, even if you go to the laundromat, you can still use this method. It's all about the temperature at which you wash, the temperature and how long at which you dry and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now let's get into these items you guys can wash your supreme like this your FTP your bape your golf your antisocial your whatever other brand that you like any brand or item that's a little bit more expensive that you would like to preserve the life of and keep very nice but not necessarily have the funds to take to the dry cleaner uh, this is the best way to do it I've been doing it like this for a long time I would say that 85% of my clothes are washed at at home, you know that other 15% uh, is taken to the dry cleaner, but that's just when it's absolutely necessary. Maybe a box logo that I'm trying to get a stain out of so I can sell it. I'll send it to the dry cleaner. That FTP hoodie, you know, something that's very, very special. Things like that, take it to the dry cleaner. But I'm telling you guys, 85 to 90% of your streetwear, your fashion, your nice clothes, your expensive clothes can be washed at home and come out looking pristine. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Get it. 
All right, guys, so as I told you, you guys can wash any of your nice clothes in this pile. You guys will see I have an array of stuff. We're gonna go through it right now, show you what we're gonna wash at home, what's gonna come out looking clean, pristine, and extra beautiful. So check this out. I got a Thrasher crew neck right here. This is brand new. I've never washed this. I bought this for Flognaw. That's getting washed. We got a little Polo Ralph Lauren right here. Little Thermal. That's getting washed. We got a Thrasher hoodie. You guys know I'm always wearing my Thrasher hoodies this thing has been washed before it's still looking perfect it's getting washed again now we're gonna get into some t-shirts here's that white tee I was talking about but if you guys can see the graphic on this has already started to fade but I'm still gonna wash it the way I wash everything else and uh, preserve its life as much as I possibly can we got one of Duva shirts right here we got another supreme tee little bling tee or whatever this tea was called. We have a preem population tea. This is a brand new t-shirt. Never been washed before. It's getting washed today. We got one of Carson's teas. Little cause, unique glow, whatever tea. That's getting washed. It's uh, been washed before. That's why I'm washing it. And then we have a white Supreme Hanes tea that I'm mixing with these other colors. We got more Supreme teas. Here's a T right here from 2015 2016 that's getting washed we got polo Ralph Lauren right here you guys can see little horsey horse uh, the floral vibes that's getting washed at home we got a thrasher tee this has never been washed before so I'm gonna show you guys how to wash things that have never been washed before with things that have been washed before you got this dark red and then we got another one of Carson's tees right here little thrasher tee all of Carson's clothes get washed this way that's why he's always the freshest kid at school that's all I gotta say we got a bunch of pants these are brand new camo cargos that I got from zoomies which I don't normally shop at zoomies except for thrasher but yo these pants are awesome I don't even know what they are uh, what's the brand on these things I have no idea but these are camo cargos these things go dummy hard never been washed they're getting in the wash here we go supreme pants size 30 work pants Peach. If you guys know about these, Ian Connor made these super famous. These are like $300 work pants. They're getting washed at home. We got a pair of Thrasher sweatpants right here. No big deal. Getting washed at the crib. You guys saw the video where I cut all my sweats into shorts. We got handcuffed sweats. They're getting washed at home. I have another pair of brand new Supreme pants that I just got in the mail uh, that have some stains and marks on them that will get washed at home. Something I would normally take to the dry cleaner but I'm showing you guys that you can wash this stuff at home and it can come out just as well we got a pair of Dickies right here a lot of people confuse these with the Ben Davis pants that just dropped but these indeed are Dickies 67 collection love these pinstripes first time washing those and then we got another pair of Supreme pants right here my everyday pants so you guys saw right there I didn't have any FTP in there but I had a bunch of Supreme shirts in there I have Thrasher stuff Supreme pants Polo Ralph Lauren, a bunch of other stuff. I don't know. There's a bunch of different brands, uh, stuff that costs 120 bucks retail, 150 bucks retail, 60, 80, all over the board. Nice clothes that I want to preserve the life of and make them look the best I can for the longest possible time. We're gonna wash them right now. I'm gonna show you guys how. Shit. All right, guys, so like I said before, it really does not matter. Top loader, front loader, powder, whatever. I use Tide Pods. Tide Pods have always worked for me. If you'd like to switch it up and try the Tide Pods, they work extremely great. But this is one thing that I do want to show you guys. These are called color catchers. Now, if you guys are interested in using this formula the way that I wash my laundry uh, in the future, I would suggest going to the store, any normal store, Ralph's, Albertsons, Walmart, Target. They got these color catchers. These these things will prevent or mostly prevent bleeding onto other clothes. So if there's red garments, blue garments, and you have some lighter garments in there, this little piece of paper, it's what's going to catch those colors and prevent them from bleeding onto other garments. You do not have to use the color catchers. It's just a little something extra that if you are going to use this method that I would use. First thing I do is throw the color catcher in there and just like that, the pants start going in. I just throw each one of these garments in here. Now I don't know if you guys use 
OxyClean or Resolve or any kind of like stain remover. Again, this is not necessary. This is just an added on top uh, for certain spots that you guys see. Like there's a little spot right here. I just hit it with the OxyClean. Not too much because the OxyClean uh, does have some power to it. These work pants, I'm really uh, excited to see how those come out because those have not been washed and I've been waiting for those pants so I'm super stoked on those. So we're going to throw these in here just like that. These peach ones again are some of my favorite work pants ever. I don't really see uh, anything too crazy. I'm just going to hit the bottom with pants. A lot of the times down at the bottom near where your shoes hit it they get a little bit dirty. I'm tossing those in there and then about halfway through the load is when I'll throw in one Tide Pod in there. We got some more pants and then here's the shirts. You just start tossing them in, you know, look them over, make sure if there's any serious stain on it, that's where you want to hit it with the OxyClean. Here's my white Hanes tee, my Prim Population tee. All the clothes I just showed you guys are going in here. My Arabic long sleeve, my Thrasher hoodie, my polo, my other Thrasher garment. Brand new, never been washed. And then we got my red Thrasher tee right here. So uh, that's a pretty big load uh, with the Tide Pods. I would use two of them for this load. You guys can read the directions on the back depending on the size of the load. Uh, that's how many pods you need to use. One or two. I would not use more than two though. Okay. Second pod going in. Bam. Just like that. Alright guys. So let's break this down a little bit before we get it cracking. Now the thing that destroys garments is heat in the wash and in the dryer. Heat shrinks things and heat also does damage to graphics. So if you're washing your clothes on hot and you're drying them for a full cycle on hot, that is what destroys your clothes. So what you want to do is wash your clothes on cold. A lot of washers and dryers either have hot, warm, or cold. And if you're doing your laundry like this it has to be on cold now my washer has an eco warm button right here which I tend to use I just go to normal and I change it to eco warm it's pretty much one right above cool or cold uh, it's not gonna be warm and it's not gonna be cold it's gonna be like mediocre if you guys do not have that option go cold just wash your clothes on cold do not wash them on warm and do not wash them on hot other than that it's regular spin. I got high spin. I got normal soil level. I got both of my pods in there and I'm going to start the laundry just like that. So that's how the clothes go into the washer. They get loaded. If some of them have certain stains, they get sprayed. Make sure you are washing on cold or eco warm if you have it. But like I said, 90% of washers out there, it's either cold, warm, or hot. Please wash your clothes on cold. If you wash them on warm, this whole process is destroyed and uh, it makes zero sense. All right, guys, you guys can hear the washer starting. I got 57 minutes remaining. You guys can see the water pouring in. This is the portion where the clothes are getting washed. It is an important part of the process, but make sure you guys stay tuned because the drying portion is, without a doubt, the most important process of this whole ordeal, and the drying part is what's gonna decipher uh, if your clothes turn out well or if they turn out like garbage. So make sure you guys stay tuned. I'll see you in 57 minutes. All right, homies, as you guys can see, we are at zero and the load is completely done. There the ring goes and there's all the clothes we put in there. You can see the handcuff sweats. Oh, there's my blue pants, my peach pants. We got some Supreme tees in there. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get this stuff out of the wash and into the dryer. Please pay attention to this part. If you're not going to pay attention to any other, the most important part is how you dry these items. And that's what we're going to get into right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to start taking these items out one by one. First, I'll show you guys a couple. I give everything just a couple shakes because uh, for some reason uh, my washer leaves everything extremely wrinkly. Now you guys don't trip on the wrinkles. That's why they invented an iron. That's why they invented one of those, what do you call those steamer. things? That's why they invented a steamer. And washing your clothes like this sometimes does require, uh, you know, at the end a nice iron, a nice steam, depending on what outfit you're trying to put together or what piece it is. Here's my polo shirt. All right, here we go. Here's my blue pants. Oh my lord. These things a couple good shakes. Wait, did the stains come out? These things are looking, but you guys can see on the knee where I squirted the, the OxyClean, those spots have came out looking nice. Here's another pair of pants right here, these Dickies. 
you of everything, a couple little shakes. Here's my Thrasher hoodie. Uh, gotta make sure sometimes the strings get messed up. You wanna rearrange your strings. Make sure everything's good. Give everything a couple little shakes. Now here was that Arabic tea. We put that color catcher in there. I don't see any red on it, that's good. Here was the cargos, first time ever being washed. And then we got our print population tea never been released before but this is my personal give it a couple shakes throw it in that's that here's the color catcher that we put in there as you guys can see nothing bled too much you can see some red on it uh that probably came from the thrasher tee but that's that um, there's also a little bit of black that probably came from those camo pants all right guys please pay attention and please listen up i use a fabric softener you guys don't have to do that because these clothes are not gonna stay in the dryer for a long time Every Everything got shaken out and everything got put in the dryer. Now look, heat is what destroys your garments. Heat is what shrinks your garments. Heat is what makes your graphics crack on your garments. Heat is just all bad for your garments. So look, everything came fresh out of the wash. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna power on the dryer. I just leave it on normal exactly how it is. I don't go to time dry, quick dry. I don't go to anything like that. I keep my temp at medium or even low. I keep it at the basic setting. You can go to low temp, medium, but definitely not high temp. You don't want a bunch of high heat blowing on these garments. I keep it exactly how it is and I just press power on. So once the dryer's going, every single time I do my laundry, this is what happens. Siri, set my timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes and counting. Boom, just like that. The dryer's going for 10 minutes, I leave it in the dryer. 10 minutes has always worked for me, and that's why I set my timer to 10 minutes. You guys can see it's counting down right there. All right, so what the 10 minutes of heat does is it gets a little bit of heat in your garments. If you guys were to take your garments straight from the washer and straight hang them, you're gonna end up with cardboard pieces. Your t-shirts are gonna dry, but they're gonna end up and be stiff as cardboard. If you put them in five minutes in the dryer and not long enough, that's when you're not gonna get the desired result. 10 minutes for me, it gives the garments a perfect amount of heat to straighten them out it gets the heat going and then when we hang dry them and the air dries the rest of them they dry perfectly fine ready to put on they're soft ready to go trust me 10 minutes in the dryer on low or medium heat and we're gonna catch you guys in the next eight minutes when this is done and I'll show you guys the hanging process and uh, what happens after the clothes come out of the dryer. All right guys, we got about 10 more seconds in the dryer here. Started at one hour, 14 minutes. Now it's at an hour, four minutes. We are done with the drying process. All you're gonna do is pause and then we're gonna show you guys how we get down. All right, homies, I lost Duva for this part. She's got some stuff to do downstairs. So check it out. I got the camera on the tripod. I hope this works out. This is what we're gonna do. The dryer's been done. 10 minutes in the dryer only. We're gonna open this up and we're gonna shake these garments out uh, a little bit more and then we're gonna take them to hang dry. So. I'll probably speed through this process as well. I'm gonna separate the pants from the garments and then show you guys how we hang these things. First thing we're gonna do is hang up the shirts. Now, as you guys can see, I got this hanging rack behind me. You guys can get these hanging racks at Walmart, at Target, at Ikea for $20, $30, $40 or less. Look on Amazon. If you guys do not have a hanging rack, it's not the end of the world. You guys can hang your t-shirts over your banister. You can hang t-shirts over your doors, at the top of your doors. I'm gonna show you guys examples of all those things. The tees will go on the rack, and then once we get to the pants, I'm gonna show you guys if you guys don't have a rack, other ways you guys can hang your stuff so it can air dry properly, nicely, the right way so the clothes can come out the way that they are supposed to. So let's get these tees hung, now we'll move on to the pants. I'm gonna start with Carson's t-shirt right here. Before I hang each tee, again, I just give it a little shake out. The shake that comes out of the wash, the shake that comes out of the dryer, and then the shake before you hang them up. You guys would be surprised, uh, gets rid of a lot of the 
wrinkles. Now, always go from the bottom of your t-shirt up. You guys don't wanna be stretching out your necks, forcing a hanger through the neck of your t-shirt. If you already got a stretched out neck on your t-shirt, that's cool, but I would always advise putting the hanger up through the shirt uh, until it gets to the top like that. And then we're just gonna start lining these things up. So. So this is what I'm talking about right here. Sometimes when you get it on the hanger, you get the bottom of your t-shirt folding up. You always wanna just pull that down and make sure the ends of your t-shirts are straight because that's the way that it's gonna drop. Boom, this was that brand new Thrasher crew neck. I don't know if you guys can see, but you guys will see better tomorrow when it's fully dried. This thing is looking absolutely perfect. Last but not least, our Arabic long sleeve. This t-shirt is used, but I am trying to preserve its life as much as I can. Can. I think after the next time I wash it, I'll probably end up tie-dyeing this or something like that. Bam! So, if you guys have anything like this in your house, a banister like this, if you guys have a wooden banister like this going over, something that you can hang clothes over. I know everybody watching this that lives in a house or an apartment has a door. The top of your doors are great places to hang your pants. And if you don't have a rack, you can also hang t-shirts there as well. I got door jams everywhere. So there is no excuse to not be able to wash your clothes like this. I don't have a clothing rack. Use your banister. I don't have a banister. Use the top of your doors. If there's a will, there's a way let's get these pants hung all right guys again even with the pants you want to give them a nice little shape and start hanging them over that was my khaki pair of supreme pants here's my brand new camo cargos we got our supreme sweatpants now you guys know supreme's material is heavyweight a little bit thicker so these seem a little more wet and uh, damp than the other garments do but no worries they will dry it might take an extra hour or two, but we're gonna leave them like that. Here's the Dickies. These have some wrinkles on them and feel a little more wet than the other pants as well, but no worries. I'm gonna show you guys how to take all these wrinkles out. And the rest of these, we're gonna hit on the door jams. All right, guys, for the pants that could fit, they're on the banister. I got my sweats hanging off of my bathroom door right there. I got my peach pants hanging off my bedroom door right there. And last but not least, I got these beautiful brand new royal blue pants hanging off the laundry room door right there. So if you guys do not have a rack, you have banisters, you have doors, there is places to hang your clothes. And then of course we got our tees and our hoodies on our rack. All right, homies, so we got everything that was dirty. We put it in the wash for a normal cycle on cold or semi-cold. We put it in the dryer for 10 minutes and now all of our garments are hanging. Now, the only thing that you have to do now is wait. It takes typically anywhere from 12 to 15 hours for your garments to fully dry. Usually I try to do it in the morning and about six, seven hours through, I flip all the garments except the ones that are hanging. I'm talking about my pants. So I'll go through on all the door jams and over the banister and I will just flip them uh, so the other side can get some air as well and uh, that's where we're at right now so I'm gonna let this stuff dry overnight flip it in the next couple hours before I go to sleep I'll catch you guys in the morning by the next scene it'll be morning everything will be dry I will show you guys up close and personal exactly what everything looks like what needs to be ironed what doesn't we'll catch you guys in the morning and uh, you guys can see the process fully completed and then you guys can try it yourself and uh, thank me later get it Alrighty, boys and girls, welcome not back to another video. It's the morning time. We're gonna go check out this laundry that's been chilling overnight drying. I'm gonna go over each piece really quick, show you guys up close, you know, what the stuff looks like, what the graphics look like, and uh, we're gonna end this video so you guys can go do a load of laundry of your own and uh, be happily satisfied by washing your own clothes and keeping them clean, pristine, and ready to rock. Let's go check them out. All right, guys, so here's the blue pants right here. I'm telling you guys that 10 minutes in the dryer, these things are so soft and ready to go. They feel like as you would take them off the rack in the Supreme store, not too crispy, not too soft. They are just perfectly washed and dried to perfection. Same thing with these peach ones right here. Look at these babies. Man, they are clean as a machine. They are soft and ready to go. Now, of course, we got the sweatpants right here. I have washed these sweatpants with this method many, many times. Look at this graphic, brother. I'm telling you, this is probably 
at least the sixth or seventh time that I have washed with this method. Zero cracking on my sweatpants. These are my everyday pants. They got some stains on them and all kinds of that stuff, but that's because I rock them on the daily. Now here's those brand new pair of cargos right here. Look at these babies, man. Now, I'm not saying that you're not gonna need a lint roller and uh, some items I will show you. You might need an iron or a little steamer, whatever, but look at these brand new cargos. These things are pristine and ready to go. Here is my handcuff sweat shorts. These things look just like I cut them. You guys can see a little bit of uh, wrinklage going on right here. Before I rock these, I might hit them with the iron, but as far as the graphic and just the way that they came out, completely perfect, not shrunk at all. Man, these things are looking beautiful. Now, I wanna show you guys the Dickies, right? Dickies are cheaper than Supreme Pants, of course, but that's why I always put on for Supreme Pants. If you guys can see, these did not wash as well as the Supreme Pants. You guys can see the wrinkles going all the way throughout these pants. Before I rock these pants, I absolutely 100% have to iron these, which is not a problem. Once I iron them, they're gonna look clean and pristine, but dude, I'm telling you guys, that's why I always put on for the Supreme Pants. I know they cost a little bit more. They're 118 bucks. Dickies are 35, 40 bucks. But I'm telling you, the Supreme Pants, they wash well, they wear well. And even after three, four, five, six, ten times of washing them, the Supreme Pants always hold up to their expectations. And uh, it's just a little bit better of a garment. So the Dickies did wash well. I mean, all the stains came out. I had a stain up here and a stain up there. Uh, they came out clean. They look well but they definitely do need to be hit with the iron. Now let me take you guys to the clothing rack and uh, we can kind of be done with this video here. So here is my white Arabic long sleeve. Like I said, this graphic has already been fading uh, the past couple times I washed it. Like I said, I'm probably gonna end up tie-dyeing this, but this graphic is uh, looking still pristine even after the fifth, sixth time that I washed it. Here is my brand new Thrasher crew neck. I wanna get up close so you guys can see this graphic it looks absolutely perfect. If I were to fold this back up and put it back in zoomies, I guarantee 100% somebody would buy this thinking that it was brand new, never been washed. Look at these shirts. They're coming out looking pristine. Most of the wrinkles come out as the shirts sit overnight. You can see on the Supreme Tees uh, at the bottom, there is a little bit of wrinklage. Depends where you're wearing it. If you're just kicking back at the pad, you know, it's not really that big of a deal. If you want to throw the shirt on uh, to go out for a lunch or a dinner or something, you know, you might want to hit it with the iron. Here's the preem population tee. Again, some of these black garments, depending if you have pets or dander uh, of some sort in your house like this, all this stuff will come off with a lint roller. Uh, I have four cats and a dog, so uh, there's just like literally f hairs and dust that's just floating in the air, and you guys know black garments attract <laughs> dust and hair and all of that kind of stuff. Speaking of cats, I I don't know what just happened, but the cat's knocked over something. So here is my polo right here. Look at this. No wrinkles in this baby. You got the little man on the horse chilling. He's ready to go looking clean and pristine. My Thrasher sweatshirt. This is probably the fourth time that I have washed this graphic. Look at this thing, bro. You are barely starting to see some white fuzzies come up on this sweatshirt. I've owned this sweatshirt for over a year, and I've probably washed it maybe four or five times. Oh my lord ski. We got another Ralph Lauren piece right here. Absolutely no wrinkles. A little wrinkles at the bottom but uh, looking clean and pristine. We got the white Hanes tee of course looking all good and then of course Carson's t-shirt. Look at this graphic. I've washed this t-shirt. He wears this all the time probably 10 times. Graphic looking clean. I wash all of Carson's clothes the same way that I wash my own and uh, yeah baby that's how we do it. All right boys and girls so that's that's gonna do it for the video. Let's review some steps real quick and uh, make sure you guys got it. Make sure that you guys are washing with light colors, lights with lights, darks with darks. And uh, if you have stuff that's all been washed before, that's the only time I would say it's okay to mix everything together. Make sure that you are washing on cold or semi-cold, never on warm, never on hot. That is what's gonna destroy your garments. After your wash is done, you put it in the dryer for 10 minutes on low temp or cold temp. You do not want any hot
hot heat blowing on your garments because the heat is what is going to crack your garments, destroy your garments, shrink your garments. Heat is all bad for your garments. I've been washing my clothes this way since I met Alexandra 10 years ago and it has preserved uh, the life of my clothes tenfold. I'm telling you, sometimes you guys are spending $200 on a hoodie, $120 for a pair of pants, $200 for a pair of pants, $300 for a hoodie, so on and so forth. You guys want to take care of these garments and make them last as long as you possibly can and plus when you're wearing them you don't want to wear some faded ass graphic and some busted Tea. You want to be looking fresh in the shit that you buy, so that's why I wash my clothes like this. Now, of course, you take it to the dry cleaners. You usually don't have to worry about the lint. You don't have to worry about ironing, but it also does cost money. So washing your clothes at home, you know, most of my stuff that I just wash will not need an iron or a lint roller. Uh, some of the pants might need a lint roller, maybe one of the shirts, but that's just an extra five, ten minutes out of your day before you leave. Hit it with the iron, hit it with the lint roller, throw it on, and you're ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, I know this was a repeat video. Kind of tried to go a little bit more in depth and show you guys exactly how I do it. That's how I wash all of my clothes every single day, except my boxers, socks, undershirts, stuff like that. That stuff just gets washed on hot and dried on hot. But I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if you guys are going to use this method. If you've used this method before, I'm just trying to spread knowledge, something that I was taught and uh, something that's helped me a lot over the past couple years preserve the life of my clothes and keep me looking fresh as a mother so I just wanted to pass that on to you guys much love to you all man it is the beginning of December so let's wake up and let's get it I'm gonna try to be on it this month with these videos I just looked at that video I posted uh, last week it's at 40,000 views man holy hell much love to all you guys and uh, we are gonna be getting into some more content like that I want to sprinkle in the clothing content uh, mixed in with kind of like the life of Kelly content and uh, we're gonna get into all that this month so much love to all you guys if you guys want to check me out on the gram at Leroy Destroy, please feel free to do so. Go check it out. I haven't posted a picture in a little while, but uh, my homegirl's back from vacation, so we should be having some pictures posted ASAP. I'm always posting on my story. You guys can see what we're doing YouTube aside, and that is that. Ladies and gentlemen, take care of your clothes. If your mom buys your clothes, at least don't disrespect moms and throw your clothes in the dryer. If you're spending your own hard-earned money on your clothes, it's even more of a reason to take care of them and wash them properly. Much love to all you guys out there who made it to the end and uh, we will catch you guys on the flip side i'm out skis later skater reese's pieces and uh, we will catch you guys on the next video peace